What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Rockport, Texas, and we're going to take a look at a really cool, arguably one of my favorite floor plans in this size and weight of RV class. So that's saying a lot because there's a lot going on in this RV that I really think you're going to like. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, so before we go any further, if you haven't had a chance and you're not subscribed to my channel, if you would, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button right below the video. It really lets me know that you enjoy the content that I put out, that you enjoy the RV content, the truck content, the accessories, all of that stuff. And if you're into RVs and trucks and towing and all of that, you know, this is a great channel to watch. So if you would, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, the gross vehicle weight rating on this unit, 6,995 pounds. Cargo capacity of 1,711 pounds, which means the dry weight on this unit is gonna be below 6,000 pounds, which also means that this is arguably half-ton towable if you have the right half-ton truck. Now, even though the heavy-duty payload package version of an F-150 is no longer made in the configuration most people would buy it in, in 2023, it doesn't mean that truck manufacturers don't have a heavy payload version of their vehicles. I know General Motors has one that gets you up to like 1,900 pounds worth of cargo capacity. Ford can also get you there. Ram can also get you there. And if you have the right configuration of vehicle, this is something you could tow with a half-ton truck. But if you want to be in the ideal situation for towing, three-quarter ton truck is what I would recommend. And Nearly any three-quarter ton truck, at least a modern one with the right payload towing capacity could easily handle something like this. Anyways, we're going to take a closer look at the inside of this RV, then we're going to come back out and take a look at the outside. And this is the 22 MLE Grand Design Imagine. And like I said, I really love this floor plan. I can already tell it's got some Goodyear Endurance tires on it. This has what they call their Arctic Insulation Package for Season Protection which means they've just done a few extra things to allow it to be a little bit more comfortable if you're gonna be in extremely cold environments. Okay, so we're quickly gonna pan around and show you what's going on in this unit. Then we'll start from the front and work our way to the back. It's not an uncommon floor plan, but the way they've executed on it, I think is a little uncommon. So we'll talk about that as we go through. Queen size bed. A lot of wardrobe space on each side. I love the little nightstands that are kind of integrated into these cabinets and drawers on the side. Very, very nice. Lots of storage space, lots of drawers, lots of wardrobe space. And again, really like these nice little cubby holes on the side with power and uh, USB connections to be able to charge your phones. Plus you have some nice reading lamps above, nice padded headboard. I also love the fact that they're giving you day-night roller shades. So they're giving you blackout blinds on these to really block the light out if you want to sleep in an extra amount of time and it's really bright outside. You can have storage underneath here. And they've also segmented the storage a little bit as well. So you have some space and this slides. So they've helped with that organization process that a lot of people typically struggle with whenever they're trying to find place for things inside of their RV. And then they've even given you some additional power outlets on each side over here as well. You have a really cool little track system up here. So let me show you how this works. You can simply take the little Velcro off there and give the master bedroom area some privacy at night, which is really nice. Now it's only visual privacy, if you know what I mean. Doesn't mean people can't hear things. Theater seating right here. You have a traditional booth style dinette right here. And when you pull the pillows off here, flip them up, you actually have storage underneath. So you're gonna have some storage under here that you can flip up. And this turns into a good size little sleeping area if you need to sleep a few extra people. You have your TV, some more cabinetry mounted up top. All your controls are right there, plus your stereo system and your tank levels. Okay, coming around this way, looks like a 12 volt refrigerator. Yep, 12 volt Furion refrigerator. You have your cooktop, stove, oven combination right here. Price on this unit, 48,000. 
and five dollars. Now that's the MSRP, which means the sale price of this unit is going to be significantly less than that, which means this is probably going to be a relatively affordable unit for what you get. More cabinetry up here. You have your hot point microwave. I love the fact that they put drawers in this unit so you can actually have silverware, dedicated space for things like that. I just, I hate it when RVs just put, went to all cabinetry and you just have no drawers. So this is really nice. Nice solid surface countertop. You have power connection up there for your coffee station. Vent hood right here. I love this back area. This is super nice. So you have windows kind of flanking each side of your cornered sink. Very nice. Single basin stainless steel sink. Nice straining drying rack on top. You have some cabinetry down below. More drawers right here. That's one of your heat vents. More cabinetry up top. And as we come around this way, you have your bathroom. So you have a really, really good size shower stall in here for the size of trailer this is. So definitely easy enough to fit inside. You could be upwards of about, I don't know, I'm gonna say probably about six foot, maybe six, three if you stick your head inside of the skylight, but not a terrible amount of space in here if you're gonna take a shower from a height perspective. As far as maneuverability, it's a pretty good size to be honest. You have your medicine cabinet right here. Nice little stainless steel sink here. A lot of room next to it. This has a porcelain foot flush toilet. You have some extra space right here for your toiletries. Then you have a small little cabinet on this side as well. A nice medicine cabinet there as well. Little hooks to hang your robe, towels, things like that. Then over here you have a tankless water heater. So you have an on-demand water heater plus your Furion air conditioning thermostat. And then you have more storage right here as well. So check this out. Lots of drawers in this unit, something that is kind of rare in these small compact units. This is incredibly deep, so you got a lot of space in here also. But let's count the drawers. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drawers. Have you ever seen a trailer this small with eight drawers? That's pretty incredible. And you still have a lot of cabinets. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cabinets. So eight drawers and eight cabinets. That's pretty incredible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I counted that wrong. You have nine. I forgot to count the drawer underneath the uh, the oven. So nine drawers. Very cool. Anyways, let's step outside of this compact grand design, imagine, and see what it's all about. Okay, starting from the front, you have a spot for your two 20-pound propane cans. Power front tongue jack. Spot for two batteries right there. Let's take a look inside of your front storage. Wow, this is actually a pretty good size pass-through storage. For the size of RV this is. Scissor jacks all the way around. This is gonna ride on a six inch I-beam frame. Aluminum entry exit steps. Has standard non-frameless windows. Goodyear endurance tires. Has a standard equalizer. This is definitely an area that you could invest a little bit of money to upgrade the equalizer. They've already given you good wheels and tires, so you really don't need to do much there. It's prepped for the tire link TPMS system as well, which is really nice. You have your outside shower connection right here, plus a black tank flush valve right there. It's a nice powered awning running all the way across, plus a mid support arm right there, which is also nice. 4-inch tubular bumper on the back so you can hold your sewer hose in there. has a Westlake spare tire. All LED lighting. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. Then you have your furnace here on the back plus your 30 amp connection. There's only one AC unit in here. has the Furion on-demand water system, heating system. You have your gray and black tank handles there, sewer connections there. The only slide is a Schwintech style slide mechanism. Very cool. And coming around this way, you'll probably have your tire link system in here. Oh, here's your water connection panel. Very nice. You typically don't see one that nice on a travel trailer. And then there's your tire link connection right there for your TPMS system. That's awesome. So guys, what do you think about this really compact, kind of lightweight travel trailer? This thing's pretty nice, isn't it? Leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.